Yo, what is good guys? I hope you're all having an amazing day and welcome back to another video. And can I just say, I'm really stoked. This has like been a massive big impulse decision after having a chat to Samet, having a chat to a few other people. And uh, you know, this is gonna be the start of hopefully something a little bit bigger on the channel. And so I hope you guys are really keen to see what we got for the channel. And I hope you guys are keen to see the content that's gonna be coming up with it too. Cause I'm certainly keen to do some stupid crap with this thing. Before I get into today's video, I want to quickly give myself a little bit of a shout out www.zackbordy.com Originally I, I like remade the That Sounds Broken shirt and a few of you guys actually really really liked it and we sold a fair few of them so I thought I would bring it back into a sticker form. So yeah, there's all that up on the website right now so if you guys want to go on, check that all out. Plus we have a whole bunch of shirts still there available. We have the other 33 Fuji T. we have a few other things as well. We have a whole bunch more designs up there as well, all printed here in Australia. So if you guys want to go out there, support me, support the channel, support other smaller Australian businesses I would really appreciate it and not only that but if you do like my content and the content that's going to be coming up in this channel please go down and hit that big red subscribe button like this video and comment what you think down below I would really appreciate that and I really appreciate all of you guys for coming down taking a few minutes out of your day to watch this video I really appreciate it and I hope you guys are all keen for everything that's going to be coming up in today's video because I'm super stoked are you stoked Doug okay you're just being a menace Alright guys, so this car is nothing crazy, nothing special, it's not something I've wanted for years and years and no, it's definitely not a dream car of mine. In fact, probably up until a couple of years ago, I despised the people that used to drive them because I put them into a stereotype that they were loud, obnoxious pee platers. But after actually having a look at a lot of track events and uh, having a look online and the sort of stuff you can do with these cars is just nuts. And for how cheap some of these cars are, it was kind of stupid to pass up this offer. It was just... I don't know, I'm just gonna give it a shot. And no, it's definitely not another Turbo 6. <laughs> Got too many of them already. Alrighty, so I'm just around the corner from the car at the moment. Uh, I think I have about five minutes driving left. Um, I love where I used to live, five minutes was like halfway across town, but five minutes in Brisbane is like literally like the next suburb over. Anyway, um, <laughs> for some reason, I feel really sorry for the bloke that I'm buying it off. The card machine gave me 20s. Why did it give me 20s? <laughs> I feel sorry for him. Alrighty guys, so I've made it down to the place where it's stored at, at the moment. Um, this car isn't registered, I'm actually going to have to get it towed away, so, so I have my good mate Millsy coming up. He's going to be towing it out, um, but yeah. Ooh, looks as though they're here. Alright, let's go meet him. Sorry, I couldn't bring the skyline down, mate. <laughs> How are ya? Good to meet ya. Yeah, good, good. Very good. This is a cool little spot, eh? That's wicked. Hey, mate. How are ya? Good, good. I'm Zach. <laughs> good to meet ya. Very cool. So you gonna buy this piece of shit? Oh, apparently, yeah. I'm gonna hold me. I don't know. Oh, I said I'm to pause then as well. Oh, interesting. Ooh, it's actually a little bit nicer than I thought it was going to be, to be honest. That's the thing, the nearby car like this is crazy, it's just at the moment it's up. That's it. Well, I mean, like, the only reason that I was going to get it anyway was to, um, well, me and a few other YouTubers are going to start tracking some cars and stuff like that, so taking it down to Lakeside and stuff, so I just wanted something really cheap and semi-reliable to take it down the track and fix it up in our workshop and stuff, so. It runs. Yeah, that's excellent. I drove it here, so it's going down. No, that's excellent. So, like, oh, beautiful. Actually, relatively quiet, eh? Yeah, not bad at all. Rightio, guys, I'm going to go get some cash. I've just had a little look over the car. I think you guys are really going to like it. I'm going to film it coming out of the workshop. It's so sick. Rightio, are you guys ready? <laughs> Say hello to the new project car. Ha 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 ha!
Oh man, that is beautiful. <laughs> Right now guys, so yes, it is an EK Civic D16 Y4. This bloke here runs, you actually subscribe him there? Yeah. Yeah, sweet. I um, actually found it on a, um, what was it, Brisbane JDM. You put up a little ad on that. I think it was asking 800 bucks. We picked this beauty up for 500. So it's unregistered, D16. <laughs> That's so sick. It's actually not too bad. It's covered in a little bit of dust. It's actually good. The original, <laughs> man, this is beautiful. It's got the original tape deck. It's got the uh, the Honda CD player. It's actually such a nice, clean car. Well, once we clean it up, anyway. And paint up some stuff. <laughs> That's sick. Millsy, what's up, man? What do you think? <laughs> I need the Millsy seal of approval. What do you reckon? <laughs> <laughs> there is a chip on the way to my place. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> yeah, but you know, we've all fucking been guilty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go, guys. So it's a decently little clean interior, five speed manual, D16 Y4. Quickly just open up the bonnet if I can. Ooh, I've already got two cars on the You sure? Plus a motor home and bikes. So are we going to barrow swap this thing? Fuck yeah, man. You reckon? Do you reckon yeah. it'll fit? I've got a spare barrow. Do you actually? Yeah. Oh, thank you so much, man. Yeah, what do you reckon? You want a fuck actually... dry barrow? <laughs> but you spend a fuckload, then not go to... Yeah. Uh, probably fit about there. Yeah. Well, I'm thinking... You're going to do a track car, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we could utilize the same transmission and we could just have the barra sitting somewhere out like there. It should just cut the guard up a little bit. <laughs> Probably turn left pretty good. <laughs> yeah. No, no good for Queensland Raceway, bud. No, no, definitely not. Yeah. I mean, this will be a fucking treat on the track. I know. Strip it out. I know. It's okay. going to be sweet. Yeah. It's Put even the got the little... Tape layer. Yeah, it's got the tape layer. We can chuck some beats layer. on. Yeah. One of those adapters, man, with the little tape. Oh, it's literally in there. <laughs> Got everything. I know, I know. And it's original to Honda. They're both, they're both oh, Honda wow. as well. Everything's there. You go. Up, Look at that. <laughs> That's the one. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect. Like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Uh, well, when you first saw a fucking, um, record. Yeah. Kind of oh. Like yeah. yeah. Can you put that big CD back on? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Oops, sorry. Cheers for that. Thank you. Yeah, no, I'm stoked. Yeah, decently clean D16. It's the non VTEC one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are you gonna drive it up there? Uh, you can. I, I'll, I'll, I'll give you the keys. I wouldn't trust myself with your fancy truck. Oh, I'm stoked. I wonder what the size of these are. They're actually not too bad, the rims. They're 195s. I reckon they could fit some 205s maybe on this. 205 semis or slicks. It's in the boot. I wonder if this boot actually works. Oh my god, it's nicer than my 33. Oh my, what's that, sorry? You warmed it up for you? Uh, warmed it up for you. I haven't done anything. started it? Yeah, we started it. Yeah, it ran it out. Everything works, apparently. <laughs> it's even got the millennial anti-theft device. I know, how good is it? <laughs> is that why you didn't drive it? Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> didn't want to ruin your fancy little truck. <laughs> Uh, one second. That went up a little bit easier than the Falcon. Oh, dude! I'd these all day. Well, you have it, guys. This is my not so brand new EK Civic D16. And uh, I'm going to tell you guys about it in the car a little bit more. This is actually going to go down and sit down at James Nolan's house. So, uh, yeah. But I have some big plans for this, which I'll tell you guys about in the car down there. But uh, it's actually a really mint car. Um, I noticed that one of the tires is a bulge in it, but that's okay because we're going to be putting slicks on this. You guys will kind of get exactly what we're going to do with this car. 
Uh, I was having a chat to Sam the other day and he said you haven't lived until you've tracked a, a four-cylinder front-wheel drive manual. So that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. I'm so stoked. It's gonna look sick with a bumper cut, bit of low, some big wide tires on it. What are they? I think they're two they're one nine fives. We'll fit some we'll fit some we'll fit some two two oh five or two one fives on it. It's got a nice little carbon lip just chilling down here at the moment. But uh it looks as though all the body panels are there, everything's there ready to go. I am stoked and I hope you guys are too. I know this is something completely different to what I would normally buy, but <laughs> it's such a cool car. I love it. All right, guys. So we are just pulling away at the moment from uh, Archerfield Tire. I think it's Archerfield Tire Mechanical or Archerfield Precise Auto Care or something along those lines. We picked up the Civic, and can I just say I'm actually like actually really surprised at just how awesome that car is. Um, the interior looked really nice. Uh, the engine, as I saw, it had a, it had a few little uh, oil stains on it, um, but it looks like it had been sitting there for a little bit of like a, a fairly long time. Uh, the car was sitting around for about two or three months, I think they said. So um, they were stoked to get it out of their hands. I was stoked to take it. I was uh, yeah. So I ended up picking up this Civic right here for 500 bucks. I'm really stoked. Um, as I said once again, it's an EK with a D16. Um, I've been looking up so many videos like from Divine Media and stuff like that who have done turbo kits on these cars. Looked up a whole lot of videos by Rodnock and uh, Samet and just, it's gonna be so much fun. So now Sid has a contender, um, Sid the CD Civic. Plus we also have a awesome contender for a little bit of a YouTube series which may be coming up on the channel very, very soon. So I'm hoping to get down there and uh, start work on this car. I'm going to go online and start booking myself in for a few track days and see what we can do, sort of like a, a beginning and after we do some of the mods. Um, I've also had a chat to some of my sponsors. Um, basically, the, the whole way that I think we're going to go about this at the moment is I think that me, Tom and James, uh, TJD on YouTube and James Noland, are going to do a budget track car series um, with four cylinders. So I reckon it's going to be awesome. I think we're going to have a budget of like one and a half or two grand or something along those lines. So this is going to be a brilliant base. Um, I was originally looking out for either a hatch or a coupe, however the prices of those things at the moment are like astronomical. I've seen coupes at the moment, I've seen coupes and hatches go for as much as like, like I don't know, $8,000. Oh, 33. So yeah, it's pretty nuts. Um, I'm really stoked to get in this car. I'm really stoked to uh, start doing some crazy stuff to it. I have some plans to make this thing a whole bunch of fun, scare the crap out of some people. I've never had a front wheel drive car, ever. I've never owned a four cylinder. This car is gonna have so many firsts for me. And uh, I'm also pretty keen because I can get into group racing. Um, group racing was actually something I wanted to do well before drifting. And so I'm keen to see just uh, just what I can build this car into. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. And I will admit, I do have a little bit of a soft spot for the sedan. I mean, like the coupes and hatchbacks, they're pretty cool. But uh, I don't really see many sedans out getting out on the track and stuff like that. I had a look online. There is a few uh, sedan track cars. Um, there's a lot of parts for them. It's pretty crazy. There is uh, there's so many parts out there at the moment. I could honestly imagine more parts or more aftermarket parts out there than the R33. And a lot of the parts are actually very considerably cheaper than anything you can get for the Skyline. It's pretty crazy. Like wheels, tires, everything's still going to be a lot of fun, but hopefully a little bit cheaper than uh, anything I can get for the Skyline. So I'm pretty stoked about that too. So I'm just going to reiterate a couple of the points um, that I'm going to do with this car. Once again, I never had a want for a Civic. I never had a need for a Civic. I have never looked at Civics. I have never even considered owning one in the past, um, nor did I ever think I would. However, this is just going to be a whole lot of fun to get into grip racing cheap, get more seat time, get more track time, just have a whole lot of fun with it. Um, the car's not going to be registered. I'm going to do some stuff to this car that is going to make it very unroadworthy. Um, so that is exactly what I'm going to be doing with that. First of all, it's going to be entering this budget challenge where me, Tom and James all get budget cars and we have to do them up within a certain budget um, and see how we go around a track um, and see how we go through a certain bunch of challenges that you guys are going to pick, which is going to be a lot of fun. Uh, the next thing I want to do, I would love to turbo this thing. Um, there's a $1,000 eBay turbo kit. Who doesn't want a $1,500 eBay turbo Civic? Because um, that would just be a whole lot of fun. 
And then also I wanted to do a uh, thing where the PO box has been so much fun with the amount of random crap that you can send people. I really wanted to do a subscribers modify my car. So where subscribers send me car parts to my PO box and I install them on the Civic. Um, I'm gonna have to make some rules though because I do not want to have my Civic um, rolling around with a hundred uh, hood scoops in it. But you know what, it's just gonna be a whole lot of fun. And you know what, it's a perfect base. Like the car honestly is probably in better condition than my Skyline, I'm not gonna lie right now. Um, however, yeah, as I said, I'm not gonna worry about uh, streeting it or paying for a rego because rego would honestly be uh, a lot more expensive than what I paid for the car, so. So there's honestly no point. Uh, so yeah, I'm stoked. I hope you guys are stoked. I'm gonna get back home now and uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll just do some other stuff for the rest of the day. Are you good? Well, there you have it guys, the UK Civic, the brand new car on the channel. I hope you guys are all pretty keen to uh, to get stuck into this thing. I know I certainly am. Uh, probably going to head down there Saturday or Sunday and go have a good look over the car, give it the first drive, have a whole bit of fun with it. It's going to be a sick car. Uh, yeah, I hope you're all keen with it. And if you haven't already, make sure to go and like up this video. Let's get this video popping on the algorithm. Comment down below. And remember to smash that big red subscribe button down there, as well as the little bell. Make sure you get notified with all the Civic videos. Hope you guys are all keen. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.